Hey everybody, this is Taysen Rockefeller, Teton Valley Realty. I'm here at the uh, Blue Rock condos here in Victor, Idaho. Now I may uh, correct myself on what those are called, but I'm gonna give you an overview of the uh, units in general, um, the number of units, the community, the location, and then I'm gonna take you inside one that is upstairs and one that is downstairs. So apologies in advance for the lengthy video. Uh, there are 16 units total. Each building has four units. So uh, this building, you've got two on the lower level, staircase in the middle, and two on the upper level. Um, the lower level have a little bit of exterior uh, living space. You can see the concrete patio out front, a little less privacy. The upstairs units, um, you've got some outdoor living space, but you've kind of got this you know, a little bit of a privacy wall here that's going to give you uh, a little extra uh, privacy up there, as you'll see. Um, what you're seeing there is actually a drain, so if you get any water uh, that comes off of, you know, from the wind-driven moisture, it has somewhere to go. Um, the panels that we're looking at, I believe, on the exterior, these are concrete board. These were kind of designed as a minimalistic type uh, exterior and interior as you'll see you can see some of the uh, bathroom vents and that sort of thing um, vented crawl spaces I don't know where those access points are but we'll explore that a little bit when we get inside you can hear we do have some road noise off of Cedron Road this is a 25 mile an hour road um, one of the things I do like about the community is the fact that they are walking distance to downtown Victor here which is is nice now uh, another thing I like exterior maintenance wise this concrete board should be relatively low maintenance it does have um, a tendency to crack which is one of the downsides of it but it holds up relatively well as long as it stays dry the other thing I like is that these are standing seam metal shed roofs they shed snow directly off the back there's not really any opportunity for um, issues relative to snow sitting too long in one particular location. Uh, you can start to see what they're doing with the landscaping, which is just this pebble stone. Again, no need to replace mulch, uh, asphalt, driveways, no garages. Uh, soon you'll see a, a sign here, which will be the entry sign. Um, obviously you don't have a sidewalk extending much further to get into town but again this is such a low um, traff well no, I wouldn't say low traffic but a low speed road that it's it's and you're right up against a stop sign here and there's a bike path once you get on the main street that's highway 33 or main street Victor um, these units again they're gonna price I assume the ones closer to the road here on the lower level at a little bit um, lower price point upstairs higher and then these two buildings here in the back will be uh, a little bit higher yet to cover the well just to create a sliding scale for what we anticipate i assume these will be some sort of street lamp at each corner these are um, sprinkled so you do have a little bit of maintenance there because they do have fire sprinklers anytime you have more than uh, four units or more I should say then you step up to the requirement to have that unfortunately but uh, price to pay for the density I suppose so these are your fire closets um, combination of metal and the concrete I'm gonna take you into a um, lower level unit first so this really is the extent of your outdoor living space now you will have some yard here access to your water shut off I assume that is I do like that these are on a crawl space a little bit of wood here that'll need to be stained but because it's out of the um, out of the Sun it should hold up relatively well and it's also a pretty dark stain so as we come inside this is an LVT uh, kind of click together floor it's real popular right now it's durable I really like what they did with the edge of the countertop, kind of bringing that down. Uh, one of the modern uh, elements you'll see inside, 
We don't have any baseboard or casement trim. Uh, that was designed, uh, that is by design, and you can see they've really made this uh, finish. And, and this is kind of a special uh, drywall product that they use to create that look. And when you close the doors, you, know, you can see the nice clean appearance that creates. And, and that's kind of what's popular right now. So pretty straightforward. Um, these have the cove heating as opposed to the toe kick or baseboard heat, which I uh, actually have grown to appreciate. Um, that dishwasher, maybe it's just the control panel. I think that's a full size for a second there. I thought that might be kind of an apartment style. Uh, counter depth refrigerator was a good choice. Uh, Whirlpool appliances. I do not know if this is just a recirculating hood vent. I assume, although it may vent, uh, I don't think it would be able to vent out the back actually, so that's gotta be a recirculating. Uh, the cabinets here, you know, they're, um, they're fine. It's a wood, uh, wood box frame. It's actually a plywood, which is a little bit nicer. Uh, and they even soft close. Your cabinet doors, same thing. You've got a soft close hinge on those. Window above. I'm not quite sure why the cabinet is inset like that, but you know, kind of probably adding to the look. So as mentioned, uh, I was curious about the crawl space access. So that's here in the laundry room. The fact that these have a laundry room, I think is kind of nice. You've got uh, room for a full size washer and dryer, media panel. This is where your water heater is. Uh, 50 gallon electric uh, Bradford White water heater, which is a good unit. So then you've got another um, water valve there so you have one for each unit again some of the contemporary light fixtures are kind of unique um, very 2020 there's another example so you've got um, a linen closet between the two units all of these if you're asking they do all currently in their new construction state have the black carpet. Uh, they did a slide-by closet. Does not have a huge walk-in closet, but they did do the organizers, which is nice. Room for a closet rod for your tall um, closet rod items over here. Um, the glass on the shower is a, a slide-by, but it is a, I think that's a quarter inch glass, um, single sink. So again, nothing extravagant, but you know, kind of the square design on everything is, is kind of unique. Small heater here, uh, bathroom fan, the uh, LED light over the vanity is kind of nice. And then getting into guest bathroom, same thing. This is a, gosh, this is actually a, um, we haven't seen too much of this in our area. This is a, I can't think of the, the, what they call this, but this is actually a kind of a manufactured stone surround on a fiberglass tub, which is kind of nice. Digital thermostats, guest bedroom. Same thing with your slide by and your closet organizers, uh, digital thermostat, uh, room for a television over here as well. I don't, I'm not sure if the master actually had that. Yes, it does. So you've got, you know, all of your wall plates for wall mounted television. So again, many of these items are 2020 friendly uh, finishes. Okay, that's it for a lower level unit. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of an upstairs unit. Now this is kind of unique. You've got a um, exterior staircase that's open to the elements, but it is covered. I don't suspect there's gonna be an issue here. All of this as we come inside is metal siding. 
these are diamond plate steel treads, so no carpet to replace down the road uh, from a community uh, maintenance standpoint. Hello? So as we get inside, um, I'm not going to spend as much time in this unit. You can see all the finishes are going to be pretty well identical. Your laundry room, uh, water heater, mechanical room, storage, uh, which is also doubles as a pantry, which is nice. Your bedroom master is very similar. Um, I did not point this out in the last video, but compared to your guest bath, this is a fiberglass surround. This is an adjacent lot next to us, but you know, kind of nice views of the big holes uh, here out on these western units. Perspective on the east side from your upper level. Overlooking the parking lot here and the adjacent units. Now here's, here's a real difference between your lower level units and your upper units. These are the truck stacking and again it allows it to kind of fall through into that drain below that we saw in the front of the building. This is, I think, probably made to mimic that, uh, I can't think of the word, shoe bond or whatever the charcoal type wood exterior. This is just a stain, but it, it looks nice. All your nails are on center. Um, your closet, pretty comparable to what we saw downstairs. Now you won't have access to a crawl space in this unit, obviously. The only downside of that is, you know, routing your satellite TV cables and internet cables. Not that everybody's doing satellite in today's world, but um, I think personally I would forego that. But obviously you have some access issues here. This is a nice wide staircase uh, for moving furniture and that sort of thing. You can see even the numbers on the doors are very contemporary farmland at least for now off to the north and Victor off to the south again this is Tayson Rockefeller here at the Blue Rock condos here in uh, Victor new construction completion here early 2020 if you have any questions 208-709-1333 Tayson at Teton Valley Realty and we'll put a link uh, for the community on Teton Valley Realty uh, Dot com, Teton Valley Realtors website. Thanks for watching.